hey, one of the points that I make in this course is that if you are in business, it's not a question of if you will get sued, it's just a question of when you will be sued. One of the reasons is the existence of people like Mr. Smithers, the subject of our fun video for today. Mr. Smithers had four characteristics. Uh, he was elderly, he was crazy, he was retired, and he had lots of time on his hands with nothing to do with it. This is a bad combination. So Mr. Smithers decided one day, uh, this was in about 1981, he decided to walk down to the federal courthouse here in the New Orleans area, and he could be very charming if he chose to be, and he convinced one of the clerks to teach him how to file a lawsuit. That is all he needed to do to entertain himself. So. Uh, one day when I was working for the electric company's legal department, uh, the sheriff came to uh, deliver that day's lawsuits against the company, and I saw Mr. Smithers' lawsuit. Mr. Smithers, in his lawsuit, said that the following happened. He said that these parties, which were the electric company, the local telephone company, the local television company, the mayor of the city, the city itself, the police chief of the city, three unnamed policemen, and a man known only as Howard conspired to and did kill his sister in Tennessee. Well, we, we didn't even know if the man had a sister, but we did know he was crazy. Well, he filed the lawsuit, and he filed the lawsuit saying that he was so impoverished he couldn't pay the legal fees, so he didn't have to do anything to get, get his suit into the system. Well, naturally, if you don't reply to a lawsuit, you're going to lose it. So all of those entities had to, had to use or hire lawyers to defend themselves. And the day came for the for the first hearing and uh, Mr. Smithers as the plaintiff was on one side of the courtroom and on the other side of the courtroom were about 40 lawyers in, uh, including me that were that were hired to to defend the entities and the judge was a brand new judge which was great because he was enthusiastic and wanted to do a good job and he went stepped up to his judge desk and he looked over the courtroom and he we we all noticed that he had about 25 large files stacked on his desk and he looked at Mr. Smithers and he said Mr. Smithers I've noticed that in the civil district court here in the city of New Orleans you have had you, you have filed 25 lawsuits in the past year. Here's the stack of them right here. What I've also noticed, he said, is that you haven't proceeded with any of them. You just file them and go on and file another one. He said, that will not happen in this lawsuit. Well, Mr. Smithers at that point held up his hand and said, Judge, my, headache, my head hurts so bad, I have a migraine headache, I've got to leave. The judge said, Sit down, Mr. Smithers, you're staying here. And in fact, we're trying this lawsuit today. Oh, judge, my head hurts. Be quiet, Mr. Smithers, sit down. Then the judge said, okay, Mr. Smithers, you're the plaintiff, you're the one that brought this lawsuit. You claim these entities all killed your sister. Uh, you have to prove your case. It's your time now, prove your case. Mr. Smithers didn't know what to do at that point. He spoke for 14 seconds. He mentioned the concepts of parity, equity, and justice. Never mentioned at all the uh, dead sister he supposedly had. He couldn't think of anything else to say and he sat down. The judge said, is that all you have to say, Mr. Smithers? Yes, Your Honor, that's all. 
Then he looked over at the rest of us and said, I don't have to hear from any of you. I'm ruling from the bench against Mr. Smithers. That was correct. And, and uh, he then told Mr. Smithers he had a right to appeal, which was correct. He also told Mr. Smithers that he had three judges from the Louisiana Court of Appeals waiting one floor above us just to hear his appeal, which was also correct. Then he told Mr. Smithers he had five minutes to appeal, which was not correct. Uh, Mr. Smithers ran out of the courtroom and, and uh, from that moment on, he never filed another suit in, in the district that we were in. In fact, we found out that the Federal Eastern District uh, Court uh, had banned Mr. Smithers against all federal laws, had banned him from ever filing another lawsuit in that district unless Mr. Smithers had the express written permission of the chief judge of the district. So now he couldn't sue in state court, he couldn't sue in federal court, so I guess he found something else to do with his time. Remember this when you're thinking about whether you need to put legal expenses into your budget for the year.